I realized that uh, all and everything comes from within. And if you realize this, if you discover this within yourself, you will see that all fears, all the uncertainties, doubts, worries, will disappear. And when fear comes to an end, all and everything goes right. Now, I am not telling you, you should not study what the professors and teachers are telling you. But uh, this is just to have a certificate, a BSc a degree that allows you to act in the world. But I tell you, this is not what makes you someone or something in the world who counts, who really counts. What makes you really a uniqueness in the world is your very dream. And all schools and universities try to clip your own wings. They do not let you fly high because only your own uniqueness can do that. And your originality, your very dream will be covered by all knowledge coming from outside. And you will find yourself mixing, mingling into a crowd full of people educated to be one of the many. Visibilia ex invisibilibus is the motto of the European School of Economics. I don't know how many of you was aware of it. Visibilia ex invisibilibus. That means that all that you see and touch and hear and feel is coming from an invisibility. What is it? You have been edu educated only to see and touch things. We believe that economics, politics, the world, the entire world, our family, our friends, our business is coming from outside. And we identify with an external world, which is uh, just something that happens in time, in the factor time. And we just neglect, we just forget about the very cause of whatever is happening in the world.
which is your inner being, your inner dream. And you will grow as an adult in the, in the multitude of adults, believing that whatever is coming from outside is the real world. And you forget yourself. Forgetting yourself means that you will become one amongst the many. And then nothing will happen. Nothing magic, miraculous can happen in your life. My realization was that uh, the world outside myself and yourself is it just a reflection, a projection of your inner being. Then if you are able to turn upside down this logic, this um, equation that the world within is the world of causes and the world outside yourself is a just a consequence, the effect of whatever you are within yourself. How many of you get up in the morning and say, I feel to possess the world? And how many of you get up in the morning and say, I am possessed by the world? You will see that seven billion so people get up in the morning and are possessed and governed by whatever is happening outside yourself. And just few really believe to possess the world. Bill Gates. Elon Musk, at your age, dreamed something which was an empire. How many of you is dreaming an empire? We just mingle in the, into the mediocrity, into the littleness. And uh, we forget that each of you is a, a uniqueness, an individual. I don't know if someone has read something, some page of my book, The School for Gods. In The School for Gods, I tried to convey this concept that the individual, only the individual can change the world. I brought up 
this idea that only an individual revolution, individual revolution can change the world. All the revolutions in the past, revolves in the past were a failure. Nothing can change the world. Neanderthal man and the modern man are one and the same. Nothing changed. You think that technology changed the humanity? It is not so. Only you yourself can change something outside yourself. Because the, whatever is happening out there has to have your inner consent to have. Whatever is happening in the outer world has to have your inner approval to happen. And then if you fight, if you find yourself in a war, if you find yourself getting a, a disease, it means that, that the very thing was promoted from within, not from outside. then when you become one of the many, you will be victim of whatever is happening out there without realizing that anything happening in the outer world is coming from within. And if you forget yourself, the outer world will appear as a monster. as something that will attack you. Then my propose in this moment to all of you is just to try to dedicate some of, of your time to your inner being. And that is not meditation or contemplation or whatever, something uh, spiritual or religious. It is uh, very scientific. If you turn toward yourself and you find yourself in a sort of worry, fear, doubt, anxiety, that is, uh, from my point of view, a great opportunity. Great opportunity. If you pay attention to that fear within yourself, just attention, without trying to change anything, you will see that very fear will become an explosion of energy. But we are used to escape, to run away from that very fear, worry, or doubt. We try to, to distract ourselves from that very thing. And we lose the opportunity. If you pay attention to the hell that can happen within yourself, you will see that you create such an energy that will be translated in the world as a solution, an answer to all your problems. I discovered that the slightest change in your inner being can move mountains and project yourself as a giant in the world of events. The slightest change in your inner being can move mountains. And we have been educated 
to try to change the world with the, in uh, intervening with an external attitude and try with all our strength to, to, to change things outside ourselves and you know and we you will be disappointed in the future you will be totally disappointed because you cannot change anything in the outer world without changing yourself is there anybody who read something about the school for God? Did, uh, did you, Clelia, distribute the book to someone? Yeah, I shared with the students uh, reading about the individual and the mass for this specific um, meeting. And we did have a meeting with some of them uh, regarding the philosophy of the school. And we had a discussion, it was mainly um, well, we covered a lot of topics between the antagonist and um, the power of Jimmy and all the topics that are in the book. So more or less students are acquainted with the principles and teachings. Okay, then you touched some topics. Yeah. Okay. Um, Go yes. for a round of introductions from the students and see if anyone has a question. I'd like to, to know if someone of you try to touch something within and uh, be able to, to stand and uh, watch it without getting uh, upset or scared by the inner world. This is the way to advise what I'm saying. Try to try to work yourself and see you yourself are the very cause of whatever is happening out there. Now, if it is so, and I believe it is so. Then you have the tool, the instrument for changing the world outside yourself. Knowing that the outer events and the inner states are one and the same thing. Knowing that the vision, your inner vision and the outer reality are one and the same thing. There is no gap between them, then this is a, a way to intervene and not trying to change the world through politics or economics or whatever, but uh, through yourself, through your very self. If you turn towards yourself and you get in touch with the something that is uh, very painful within yourself, you have the chance and the opportunity to change the world. If you run away from that uh, very thing, then uh, the world will uh, overwhelm you and you get lost. And this is the, the end of every individual. I think that you yourself can lead and govern the world outside yourself. If you realize that all comes from within. If you realize that all comes from within. Words, disease, poverty, death all comes from within if you realize this you know how to change the world outside yourself is there any question can you hear us yes i i can 
Okay, we had a class about your book and there was this interesting part that I was wondering about and I wanted to ask you because there's a part where you say something around everything we do and in our life it's like to blame or it's our fault I don't know how to say it like we're responsible for it but then I was wondering there's some things that are out of your control for example you can try your best to uh, get along with someone but there's a, like I don't know if you get what I mean like sometimes yes. even though if you try your I best you it. won't you do your best to to, to um, synchronize with another person and uh, that doesn't happen because the other person probably uh, um, is a different person and uh, and uh, and um, react uh, differently. But uh, I tell you that uh, this is uh, interesting to understand that what you see and touch outside yourselves, for example, the others, your partner, your friends, your enemies, your antagonists, they all come from within. When, when uh, someone is reacting to your uh, a person, it's a, he, she is telling you something that you do not want to see and uh, touch within yourself. And you think that, that it's the other person that is, uh, has got a different point of view or a different character or whatever. But the other person is just telling you something that the, you are missing uh, to see and touch within yourself, then you should get used to the fact that the others are you yourself, just an extension of yourself. And this is very difficult to admit, very, very difficult, because we see in the others uh, the enemy or the, you know someone that is uh, an obstacle to our uh, achievements and to our uh, dreams, but it is not so. The others are, um, are telling you what is happening within yourself, which you do not want to see and touch. And that is uh, difficult you know, to accept. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for your question. It was a good question. So shall we just change our point of view? No, you should, uh, you should just uh, observe yourself while you are uh, relating with the others. You have just to observe yourself. You have to have uh, an arrow of attention towards yourself and another arrow towards the others. And uh, it is not your point of view or the others' point of view. It is just observing yourself that you will see that the other or the others are telling you all the truth about yourself. But it is difficult to accept it. You, know? you think that you have a point of view and the other is a, his, her point of view. And it is not so. You are the only one. If you realize that you are the only one who is creating all that you see and touch outside yourself, then you will see that the world will follow you. That is the only way to change the world. Believing that you are the one who is creating all the disasters and all the beautiful things that you can see and touch. Then if you turn towards yourself, you will see that something that attacked you from the outer world uh, is just telling you that, that, that you, um, you made self-sabotage. You did something within yourself that you were not aware of, then whatever, 
you know, uh, something unpleasant that happens outside yourself, you have to realize that it was you yourself who projected that very thing and not uh, somebody else. And that is difficult to accept because we are used to blame the others, to, to self-justify our errors and difficulties and to, to complain about the government, the, the outer world, the, the war, the disease, and all that, you know, without understanding that you yourself are projecting all this. And the, you know, we were educated to, and to believe that the, the, there is an, an outer world and an inner one, and the outer world is the world of causes, and we are just the effect and the victims and the slaves of something that is happening outside ourselves. And that is not what I realized. I believe that you yourself are leading. You yourself are governing the world and nobody else outside yourself. If you start, if you begin to turn towards yourself, whatever is happening outside, you will, you will uh, uh, begin to understand that, that uh, you yourself are in that mood, in that state of being, and in that condition, inner condition, that created that disaster outside yourself. If you eliminate all conflicts from within, you can never happen in a war or a, a disaster or an accident, for example. It's impossible. Even an accident, a war, is planned, programmed from within. If we start to, to reason, like this, to think like this, just to think like this, you wish that the world outside yourself starts to change. This is uh, interesting. I am not saying to apply this because it is very difficult because the world, you know, taught us to, that, that we are just, uh, you know, in a multitude, in a sort of uh, chaos and uh, uh, the, uh, billions of people, uh, each of them has got his own uh, um, way of thinking and feeling. And we are just, uh, you know, uh, navigating in a, a sort of blob and, uh, and uh, uh, chaos and confusion. It is not so. The only confusion and chaos is only within you. If you start to, to observe, to, to be aware of what is going on within yourself, you will understand why the world is as it is. Just paying attention to what is, what is happening within yourself, you understand clearly what is going on outside yourself. When you will be without conflicts within yourself, you will never happen in any war, accidents or uh, confusion. You know, that we believe that, that we are all uh, victims of something that the others uh, created. It is not so. You yourself, understand this, you yourself are the very source of whatever is happening out there. If you continuously turn towards yourself, you will see that your very dream will uh, be uh, manifest. Right now you are uh, dreaming something that the others told you to dream or desire. It, your very dream didn't come out. 
because you know the outer world is uh, very attractive and uh, it's it's uh, it's difficult for you to just pay attention to what is going on within yourself and when you just observe it you will never let it to materialize in the outer world just observing it let's say that you are in fear you think that something happened outside yourself that uh, scared you if you just pay attention to your fear within yourself you will be safe nothing can be materialized as a, a mirror of that very fear within yourself nothing if you observe it there is no materialization or anything negative within just self observation that is something that no school no universities will tell you because they do not know they only understand that they have to fill you with the uh, concepts and uh, notions and uh, knowledge which you will never mm, use it in the in the, in your life and you are just uh, going uh, through something that is unnecessary if you turn towards yourself you will see that uh, the real knowledge is coming from within and you will uh, face and uh, tangle and tackle sorry tackle all uh, difficulties in the world being easy and uh, effortless everything uh, you know happens to mirror your inner states and conditions and uh, as i told you uh, just before you know it's uh, anything happening in the world as to have your inner consent to happen you yourself have to give that approval to happen from a war to the most beautiful thing, from the worst thing to the 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 the, the, the wonders and the, the 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 beautiful things, you have to give your approval. But we are unaware of what is going on within ourselves, and that unawareness, that distraction, creates disasters. If you be, if you are aware of yourself, if you pay attention to yourself, you will see that the, the world outside yourself will be all gratitude to you, will follow, and you will see that how things will change in a great way. Elio, we have a question. Good. Okay, hello. Nice to meet you finally. Um, I have a question. Uh, I, I read something about like individuals dream and masses dream how to desire. Uh, desire happens in time and dreams happens in timelessness what is exactly or what does time means in this context time is a an invention of man is a our own invention to to see what uh, we cannot see Time is a sort of a paint. Do you understand paint? It's a sort of paint that we, we um, um, cover our inner visibility and to, to, 
to make it visible, then whatever you see and touch, you see it because we invented the factor, we invented time. Just to see and touch what we are not able to see and touch, which is uh, within ourselves, which is our inner being. Ideas, thoughts, emotions, feelings, sensations, the will, the memory, the imagination is only invisible. And we project this invisibility, our inner being, in the world, in the world of events, through time. Tra time is the vehicle to transfer the invisibility to visible, to visibility. Then time does not exist. Time is just a, a device, a tool, an instrument that allows you to see what you do not want to see within yourself. Then the dream happens in the absence of time. That's why returning to yourself, to your inner being, you will uh, be in touch with the, the real thing, the real self. And uh, outside yourself, you will be in time. And then, then you can see and touch what is happening in time, what happened in absence of time within yourself. I don't know if it is clear. Your inner being is timeless. And we forgot our inner being, dedicating all our lives to the outer world and forgetting the very source of all and everything, which is you yourself. And then we invented time to make it visible. And we got lost in time, forgetting that the time is just a device, a vehicle to let you see what you forgot. Then returning to yourself, it means self-remembering, to return to something that is real, the very source of whatever you see and touch outside yourself and beyond. It is you yourself, the source and the cause of whatever is happening out there. And this is uh, something that in the future, schools and universities have to teach you, have to teach to, to young students that the real knowledge is within yourself. That knowledge cannot be taught. You cannot learn something that belongs to you yourself. It is impossible. Then the schools and universities are uh, giving you, <laughs> sorry about this, but probably could have offend many, many institutions, but uh, they are all lies. They are all lies. You will uh, just swallow unnecessary food, which is the outer knowledge that I, I can only uh, translate in uh, outer informations, you know, informations, but it is not knowledge. Then, then we get scared about the virus. We get scared about a war happening in the in the Ukraine, just because that conflict, 
conflict, that very conflict is within yourself, not outside yourself. And if you understand this, you will never be touched by any conflict outside yourself. Because the moment that you observe your inner conflict, your inner war, no war outside yourself can touch you. It's impossible. You see, we go to schools and universities to try to understand the world outside ourselves, which, which is something that we, we uh, possess within ourselves. And we try, you know, and travel and go far away to understand. We go to India and we go to, uh, to Persia and we go to United States to try to understand what we already possess within ourselves. Then someone, some student asked me, said, then how can we deal with the world outside ourselves if, uh, if we possess our, everything within ourselves? Then, then it's uh, just to be silent, what, what should we do? How can we interlay? How can we communicate with the world outside ourselves when we understand that everything is coming from within? Then I told him, that you have to learn how to act, how to act as an actor, as an actress outside yourself. Understanding that all comes from within and the outer world is just uh, like a movie that is just uh, representing whatever is happening within yourself. And that is interesting because you will go in the world as a, an actor, as an actress, understanding that, that whatever you touch, the others, the world outside yourself is just reflecting uh, your very being. And that is interesting. Then you will uh, make no effort to become successful, to win all battles that you will find on your way. It's, everything will be very easy and effortlessly. Thank you, which is your name? Which is your name? Matteo. Matteo, Matteo. Are you Italian, Matteo? No, I'm Peruvian. No. Peruvian? Yeah. Matteo, beautiful name. We have a Matteo in Italy. So, yeah. We have a question. Yeah, uh, actually, we have a question, I think, from Alejandro. How can we learn to control the external world from within as individuals? Yes. You will control the external world when you realize that the external is internal. The external is within yourself. There is no division between the day. They are not two separate realities. They are one and the same. Whatever is happening within yourself, you will find it in time, as I said before, outside yourself. Then let's say that the world you see and touch is the past. <laughs> It's the past because all that you see and touch already happened within yourself. Then what is happening now, you will find in time in the outer world. That's why the, this mo very moment, this absence of time, your inner being is uh, the author, the creator or whatever you are going to see and touch in the next future. I don't know if it is clear. The outer and the inner are one and the same. There is no gap. There is no division. Then whatever is happening within yourself, which is in absence of time, 
you will find it in time outside yourself. Then you are the other, you are the creator or whatever you are going to encounter with outside yourself. Thank you. <laughs> Feel, you know, see, you see how powerful it is uh, timelessness. How, how powerful it is uh, this very moment. Whatever you are right now, if you observe yourself, you will see that each of you in this moment is a very attentive and a, a very much aware of himself, herself. And this is a very, very, very important. If you could be always in this state of being, you would see outside yourself only success, victory, and a beautiful life. But we are distracted. We forget ourselves. And we see the world as some, something, you know, threatening us, menacing us. It is not so. Only you yourself can threaten yourself. Then if you observe yourself, you will see that, that you can change the world in this very moment. Then, uh, you know, the, there will be schools and universities who will tell you that we tell you and we tell to young people to be in the here now and never to differ from this very moment. This moment is the creation, the, the, um, the very source of whatever you call creation outside yourself. No, the world is your creature. The world is just a, a, is a, a produced by yourself. And this is a, difficult to understand because we say, but I am one amongst billions of people. How can I have all this power? And it is so, you, the others, and the entire world is just a manifestation of your very being. That's why each of us is uh, watching and uh, uh, facing the world uh, as uh, something reflecting its inner conditions and, uh, and uh, being. This is interesting because, because, uh, because uh, you know, no one will tell you something like this because to do this, you have to turn the world, your vision and the world upside down. Believing that you are the cause and the world is the effect. That is just you know, the opposite of whatever they are teaching you or the world is teaching you. Then, then we have to get used to that, to understand that whatever you see and touch is coming from you, you yourself. But that is my realization. You know, I tried to convey this in my books. You know, you see the technology of the dreamer and the, the school for gods. You know, they every page will tell you. You yourself are the author. Whatever is happening to you, evil or good. Thank you. Thank you very much. So maybe we can. You you can know a bit more about students. Maybe they would like to introduce themselves. Hi, Leo. Ciao. You? Hello, my name is Alberto. From Argentina. Alberto. Yes. Um, I don't have any questions to ask, but um, maybe some comments could be good. Yeah. I really admire your 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 way of thinking about yourself. Uh, constantly making reflections yourself, and it's something I can relate a lot. 
because I consider myself a person that, let's say, um, just you learning stuff about, you could say, you could say that, but, but I'm a, a very self-conscious and uh, I think that's something that you are talking about in your book, maybe, and I can relate a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, you are so young, and if you start to think the way you are, you know, it's the way the book, the books are telling you, and you will see that life will be a, a heaven on earth for you. You know, otherwise, you know, it's it's it's, um, it's difficult. You know, it's, it's if uh, if we follow what they tried to teach us from the very beginning of our life, you will see that you, you know, you, you will uh, uh, become just a, a, a slave or whatever is happening. And uh, just forgetting that you yourself are the very creator of uh, your own reality. And this is uh, very, very important. Just to think about, you will, uh, you will, uh, uh, find uh, life as an incredible adventure to live. Hi, Elio. My name is Sebastian. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Costa Rica. And just like Alberto, I don't have any questions, but I do want to say that I really like how you state that we should be conscious in ourselves and that we have control of our lives that we choose what we have to do with our lives and we have the power to do so. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, Thank I you. think that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Keep it within yourself and take it with, uh, with yourself, wherever you are, wherever you go. This is uh, the secret of all secrets. Believe me. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you. Hi. My name is Tomas Hidalgo. I'm from Costa Rica too. And well, I don't have any questions, but it was a great honor to meet you and talk with you. And Good. What, what will you do to apply? What, uh, what uh, um, you well, know, I said? And, uh, I, what like, do... I like when you talked about if you only focus in your inner problems, you don't have to deal with the outer problems in the world. I think that's a very useful statement that you can apply to have a better great. life. Great, great. Beautiful. Hi, Ms. Dana. Hi. How are you? Very good. I met you. All right. No, you didn't. You know? didn't meet me yet. No, I, I didn't, didn't think so. You met, you met Rijn, I think. Tishana still uh, calls me Rijn. Rijn was here last period. He's a friend of mine yeah. from the Netherlands. And uh, they say we look a bit like each other. So. That's probably uh, who you met. But I'm Mart. I'm 23 years old, and I'm from the Netherlands. I do a finance short course here, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, great school, uh, great teachers, great people. Um, so yeah, it was uh, this is a uh, celebration uh, night. We have uh, four exams next week, so there's not much to celebrate. But it was uh, great to hear uh, from you, <laughs> to, uh, kind of in person, a little bit. I wanted to know about the principles that I just uh, mentioned before. What uh, the, I mean, For me, are you, uh, yeah, uh, Am I what? were you into all these things, you know, before? I mean, I mean, you are 23 years old. You I, went to some universities in yeah, uh, your I mean, country, yeah. your country, probably. And really you see that, that they, they taught you only unnecessary things, <laughs> useless. Things. I mean, I mean what do you? I'm not, I'm not sure they agree, but I agree, of course. Um, but I am more, uh, more uh, into these topics of self-reflection and your inner self than I was one hour ago. So thanks for that. But I think I still need a long way. Uh, maybe re read uh, a couple of your books too fully uh, understand your uh, view um, but for now I uh, learned 
some things here and I learned some things in the Netherlands. And I think uh, mix uh, will will be just fine. Please read something from my books, just some pages, and then uh, then uh, yeah, okay. I'd like okay. to have right. your. Oh, great, great! I'd like to have your uh, opinion about it. Thank you. All right, <laughs> got you. My name is Trin Edmund, and I'm from Mongolia. And I've been here only for a few months, but I really enjoyed this place, especially this school. And I have no questions, but thank you for what you've done, like what you're doing for now. And I really appreciate it. Oh, that's oh, nice. Yeah. I hope, uh, I hope uh, it's, it's uh, to, to have uh, the European School of Economics in your country one day. Yeah, you should actually, you should. <laughs> Let's be in touch. Probably you are the one who can create it. Who knows? Yes, maybe. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to uh, meet you. I'm, I'm Francois from France. I'm 24 and I'm here in the school. So thank you. Great. I don't have uh, any question uh, or any particular question, but uh, about what you said. Uh, on the self uh, actualization i uh, i agree and uh, yes that's true we have to, to take the opportunities and don't be don't be fear how can you put in practice what i just say you no know, how can you think that that you can uh, apply the the principles i was talking about at the inner world and the outer world are one and the outer world is uh, is uh, produced by uh, your inner world, and uh, all kind of, it's uh, coming from within. How can you apply this eventually? Um, oh, thinking about it, uh, like uh, I don't know meditations, and uh, apply it uh, in in uh, I don't know in real life. <laughs> yes, yes, I did. I didn't. Uh, I didn't um, mean meditation, you know, because you know it's it's uh, for me meditation is a, a way of uh, uh, let's say uh, projecting yourself uh, um, and uh, being in a state of dependence, you know, and uh, always waiting for something happening in you while you are the very owner of your own being. Then, from my point of view, you don't need any meditation. You have just to realize that you possess yourself. You are the mastering yourself, and this is something that you um, you are forgetting. You yourself, as many many others, you are forgetting um, uh, studying and uh, identifying with the outer world. The the old time, when we identify 24 hours a day with the outer world and forgetting, forget our inner world, we get lost sooner or later. Then my proposal is just to, to uh, continuously, permanently being aware of what is going on within yourself. And in the outer world, you have to learn how to act as a great actor. This is uh, something that will uh, um, will uh, will uh, um, let you let you uh, change something which is impossible in the outer world. Being aware within whatever is happening and being an actor outside yourself, then you have to act with what you have always been in the outer world, the role that, that you have been in the outer world in this moment you are a student. You have to act to be a student, but at the same time, you have to be very much aware of what is going on within yourself. Because, because when you are observing what, what is happening within, you will see that, that, that the negative things that you probably uh, hide in the, in the innermost recesses of your being, 
will never materialize in the outer world. Just observing your inner world. This is just a, a suggestion. Then, then do not uh, be distracted from you know, the inner world, which is uh, the world of uh, causes. And uh, just act outside yourself as a great actor. And this is very important. And acting is not a lie. Do you understand? Acting yeah. consciously is not a lie. It's not lying to the other world. It's mm -hmm. just acting the role that the world wants you to play. And this is very, very important. If you act consciously the role that the others want you to play, you are governing the entire world. Yeah. You, okay. you will be in charge of the entire world. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you, Mr. Dana. My name is Eva. I am from Eva. the Netherlands, from Amsterdam. Oh, you've heard my song. Oh, that's good. I am the singer on the page. All right. Oh, I, I, yes, that's good. That's good. Beautiful voice. Beautiful. Thank you so much. I hope you stay, remain with us, that uh, you can, I am sure that you will have a great career, <laughs> that we, we, we will look after you, yeah. and uh, we will, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's something that will happen, I am sure will happen, you know. I believe that it's, too, yeah. I have, sure. been, I have been a musician myself, do you know this? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because, I have been. But I didn't know I, if it was. Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought, I thought rock star and uh -huh. sold millions and millions of records <laughs> that's in amazing in europe yes i would have to then listen. i was a, i was a producer of uh, very big names oh. and uh, it's it's, it's uh, then then in, in a very good hands. yes i have i have, I have uh, experienced that i'm in very good hands here Great. i really enjoyed good. my time here yeah. And um, both my parents do life coaching. So all my life, they've been telling me to not blame other people, but look within myself as well. So very, good. very good, very good, very good, very good. Then the others are just an extension of yourself. They have no fault. They cannot blame the others for uh, some misfortunes. They, they are, they are yeah. just uh, mirroring what you yeah. are. <laughs> exactly. That's, it's nice you are with us. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. And I hope you come to Italy. Eh? And, oh, uh, oh, I will be coming to to Madrid, and uh, I will meet you. That's the um, deal. <laughs> we'll talk about music. This is good. Thank you. Thank you. I have to send you. I have to send you a a, a an article that I wrote on the. Uh, music of life, mm. music of life, and uh, it's, there are uh, all my principles, you know, that, that uh, I learned from music, you know, that music was uh, teaching me. I was a uh, um, flute and saxophone player, oh, wow. and, uh, it's, it's, uh, and, um, and a singer, mm. and uh, the, this, uh, you know, it, it, uh, it was, um, you know, the breathing and uh, um, playing a, a breath instrument you know was was a, you know it was a great uh, teacher for me oh, yeah. and this is uh, interesting because i applied that in whatever I, you know in all my principles you know and the school is a, is a, a um, let's say a fruit a a result, something that is coming out from uh, from music. This is, uh, you know, the European School of Economics is uh, just uh, uh, music of life. <laughs> I like it's, that. It's beautiful. It's, uh, one of my masterpieces. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Elio Ikaru was proposing a uh, ESC in Japan. <laughs> yes. No, in Tokyo. So... Tokyo. How did, how did you know about the school? 
yes, uh, I talked with uh, uh, Christine to me, uh, the you know to, to open the ESC in uh, in uh, in Japan, of course. Really, Christine yes, yes, yes. Uh, Sharp. Then you met Christine Sharp, and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, she suggested to, to open in Japan. No, no, I actually I suggested. No, no, oh. <laughs> I suggested. It's my idea, not her idea. Great, that's beautiful, and uh, we are with you. Let okay. us know. Let us know. This yeah, is yeah. right. Nice and don't you. worry, don't worry about the finance because we we will uh, uh, we, we will um, um, uh, finance the whole project. Then then you have just to find a beautiful building in the in the in in town. And uh, you will see that that will uh, uh, finance the whole uh, uh, business. Okay, let us know. Ho capito. I understand. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, do you Thank speak you. Italian? Do you speak Italian? No, no, un poco. <laughs> okay. What's your name? If it is uh, easy to pronounce, which is your name? Hikaru. What? Ikaru. Ikaru. The, the, from Botacho. Ah, right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I met you then. Yes, yes. Oh, that's Many times. <laughs> nice to see you again. Oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't recognize you. That's good. Okay. We will see this summer in, uh, in Ruka. Oh, that's right. That's right. Who gave you this uh, the name Ikaro? Uh, it's not the you know Italian thing you know from Ikaru, but uh, actually in Japanese Hikaru means uh, brightness. All right, it's the same name, you know, because Ikaro is uh, the uh, man who, who flies, you know, to yes. to to liberate himself from the labyrinth, but it is a a mythological figure. Yeah. Okay. Great Ikaro. Great Ikaro. Brightness. Also, Elio means brightness. Uh, really? Yeah, right. Elio means uh, sun, light. Oh, same as Ikaro. Luminosity. Yeah, like Ikaro. In Italian. Elio means the same name. <laughs> oh, we are the same. The same, the same. Oh, same. Grazie mille. Same. <laughs> Grazie a te. I'm... We are Italian, Prof. Uh, yeah. prof. Italian. 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 Yeah. Italian. Yeah. From both, Milan. both from Milan. Yeah. Luca Beautiful. and Guillermo. Nice to meet you. Luca and Guillermo. Yes. Luca had very blonde hair the last time you saw him. Maybe you remember. Oh, I see. It's, it's uh, without hair. It's, it's Change my hair cut. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then you did you meet Donatella in Milan? Yeah, sure. Both yeah, both of us. Yeah. Of yeah. Yeah, she's yeah. a nice woman. Yeah, it's a great center. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very happy with her. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any question, uh, Guglielmo or oh, Luca? No, I mean it has been very interesting what you said, and I agree with uh, most of the points that you figure out from your thoughts so yeah. i i i'd say that i agree with you it's not enough to uh, to agree with me <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Yeah. do you think that that you can uh, uh, i mean in uh, in uh, some percentages you know you, you can uh, apply some uh, of these principles to your life you think you think that you can do this? Yeah, sure. Um, it's important to um, manage how to your behavior related to your self in your inner self. So um, it's important. It's crucial to before to act um, understand uh, what's your inner self. What's your Beautiful. Be aware of yourself. Great. Great. 
it's, it's very, very important. And if you are a businessman one day, you have to, to be very careful to what is happening within before you can sign a contract or you can uh, sign a, a partnership. Just be very, very um, uh, aware of what is going on within yourself because the, there you will find the, the uh, real um, uh, consultant and uh, consigliere and nobody else outside yourself can tell you what to do or not to do. Just yourself. If you are in a, in, a, in, a, in a good way, in the right way, in the right conditions within yourself, and then you can sign. Or you can touch the people and you can touch the world. Otherwise, you better stay at home, in your room, and until you know, some, uh, that very mood, sometimes a negative mood, can change. And this is very, very important. You know? Don't touch the world before that, uh, when you, before you are free from any negative emotion. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Guillermo, tell me. Well, for me, I can apply like uh, in Italy, we say volere potere. So we can. Volere potere. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. But do you see that uh, volere, volere is not for uh, everybody. Volere is the will, uh, la volontà the will and uh, la volontà è qualcosa che abbiamo dimenticato will is something that we forgot and uh, it is uh, buried uh, under the many many uh, layers and layers of useless stuff or zavorra we call it then we have to to unbury uh, portare fuori the our our will and uh, let it uh, you know to do for us but right now you know for that taught us in you know, all schools and universities you know we just forgot the real will and uh, then then what you say the volere potere is interesting if you possess a will <laughs> if you don't have a will if you forgot your will it's impossible, you know, volere. It's very impossible. Tell me, tell me. No, no, no because I, I strongly believe in this, uh, in these words, and so I follow it uh, for my entire life. Because if you want something and you are propositive to do it, uh, you can reach it, you know. And yes. I, I, I only want to add this. This is beautiful, and that at your age, you know, you can really be creative and uh, conquer things that it's impossible when you will be 35, 40 or 50. So now it's the time. And this is, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, for me, I, I would eliminate all schools and universities and let you come out with your own dream. And you will see that that is, that very uniqueness creates an incredible world. But anyway, just, uh, just, Pay attention to your uh, inner world uh, all the time and, uh, and uh, treat the outer world uh, as a, an actor, uh, you know, acting uh, on a movie set and uh, within yourself, but pay attention to yourself because you are the very creator of your own reality. Okay, thank you. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. It was nice to have you. Okay, you will be back to Milan in the next year. No. no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm gonna stay here. I don't know what Google is gonna do, but I'm gonna stay here for the whole next uh, next year. Good, beautiful. Okay, for you too, Guglielmo. Guglielmo is doing. I I have to decide because I have to finish uh, or here or in Milan, and uh, this summer I I'm going to decide. Great, beautiful. Nice to have you here. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Helio, we have some professors here. Uh, this is Matt, David, and Maria, I think. All right. <laughs> yes, I met you, uh, did I, uh, Professor? Yeah, we yes. haven't been one yet. He's approaching, I think. Yeah. 
Good. <laughs> There's three of us, actually. <laughs> What happened, the professor, then with the, our uh, eye? That's nice, nice to see you. What happened when you know we met a few what uh, uh, last month or a few, you know a few days ago, a few weeks ago? And it, it, did you uh, did you think about it? You know how we can uh, uh, let uh, um, these principles enter and uh, be part of your uh, uh, teaching subject. Absolutely. Yes. And uh, did you discuss it? Did, did, you, uh, did you find uh, a way that we can uh, apply, the, uh, apply the principles of the School for Gods, for example, to to your, uh, it's a little bit uh, difficult. Yeah, at the beginning it's a little bit difficult because it's a um, it's a way uh, it's, it's a different way of thinking in my opinion. However, um, I think it's a revolution of our inner being, and uh, if we know more, if we have more tools, we could get whatever we want, and we have to create another. Um, another knowledge, another mentality to uh, uh, to get what we want, because we are our first enemies for what we would like to obtain. So <laughs> this is a, this is a good realization. Yeah, yeah, this is good. You see, it's a, the school for God is a novel, but but uh, you know it's uh, hidden behind the, 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 the you know the, there is a, a the, what I call the inner economy. The inner economy, you know, if you say uh, you can possess only what you are responsible for, you can possess and have only what you are responsible for. This is uh, economics, you know, because, because uh, you have to be first responsible and then you can have, you can possess. Then if you possess before being responsible, that is a, a, a drama. It, it is a misfortune. Then, then we should uh, tell uh, our students that we have to, 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 to be responsible within ourselves. And that means to be in charge of our uh, inner feelings and thoughts and ideas and emotions uh, and uh, what, whatever is happening within ourselves. To be responsible means to be in charge of it. And then we can process in the outer world. Otherwise, if it, if it is the way, uh, all the way around, we, we uh, will fail. Sooner or later, we will fail. Because, because if you inherit some uh, uh, um, 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 riches or uh, uh, prosperity or wealth, and you are not responsible for all that. You do not uh, possess it within yourself. The, sooner or later, you will lose everything. And then this is, uh, happens uh, sometimes by chance that you possess, uh, uh, you can become uh, uh, rich or famous. But if you are not responsible within yourself, innerly responsible, then you sooner or later you will you will lose everything, and this is uh, something that that uh, um, sons and daughters of uh, our many uh, families that uh, send their uh, sons and daughters to to our schools. They understand that that uh, they are you know wealthy people, but they are not able to transfer this uh, uh, wealth to their uh, sons and daughters. And this is uh, difficult. That's why I created, uh, I created a course in, uh, in, um, uh, for uh, family, uh, family business that, that uh, we never, we never uh, um, um, taught in, uh, in, uh, in, in the European School of Economics. Just because I have the, the, 
professors and teachers who are very identified with something that, from my point of view, is obsolete and old. And uh, it's, it's then we need a, a new way of uh, um, um, facing uh, the, 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 the school and the, the, and the, to understand that it's difficult, it's impossible to, to teach something, to, to transfer something to, uh, to somebody else if we do not uh, uh, apply this to ourselves. It's impossible. Then a professor can teach something only if, if uh, he's uh, living that uh, very uh, uh, subject, living in his life, in his family. And, uh, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, the, most of the professors and teachers, they uh, are teaching something that is uh, just external and not, uh, they do not apply to their, their own lives. And this is the problem, you know. Then I, I was uh, suggesting to, 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 to have some uh, principles that I wrote in my books and to apply to your uh, uh, teaching subjects and see you know it's in uh, which way they can uh, uh, blend together and this is uh, what what I, I told you the last time and uh, you should uh, just you know to meet each other you know just a couple of hours one hour every week or every 15 days, every two weeks, and to, to, to see how we can, we can uh, uh, come together to, to, uh, uh, to make it, uh, uh, pra uh, to, to, to practice, you know, some principles, like, like uh, you know, it's, it's uh, the inner economy, which is the answer with the, what uh, I wrote, it is uh, the answer to all and everything, the inner economy. This is uh, interesting. And I think that this is something that we should uh, bring into all the universities and schools. Now, the inner economy, it means that, uh, that the, the real economy is within yourself. The real business is within yourself. And when you are in charge of your uh, uh, in charge of your uh, uh, moods, uh, um, inner conditions, uh, inner states, uh, it's, it means that the world will, uh, will be safe. The world will uh, follow. It, if you acknowledge yourself, acknowledge yourself as the very creator of your own life, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's impossible that the, the world can not reflect what uh, you conquered within yourself. And this is, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, and uh, sometimes we are teaching something that is not uh, ours, it's not our understanding. We are teaching a, a book written by somebody else or a, a subject uh, written uh, 20, 30, 40 years ago without the understanding that right now we have to give them to give to students our own life. You know, whatever you have understood, whatever you have realized in your uh, uh, individual life. And this is, a, will make a new school, a new university. I don't think that universities can go on uh, the way they are. I don't think so. Because students uh, are, uh, very much in, um, they are uh, much in, in informed, more, more than uh, educated by, you know, uh, by internet and uh, all the, 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 the in informations coming from outside. And then uh, we have a very little things to, to teach them, you know, it's, they can, with the, a button, they can um, get in touch with whatever they want to know. 
and uh, it's uh, then then uh, universities and schools become, are becoming uh, obsolete and uh, it's it's uh, they are not uh, really uh, giving you something that is precious and i am sure that the, uh, the each of us each of you has got something personal individual that can uh, give to the students and that is what has to come out and it's it's, uh, it's difficult to, to, to say because because most of the why 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 I don't want to become a university we are we are we are uh, validated by a British university just because I want to 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 choose uh, uh, my professors and teachers. If you become a university, the, the, the state will, uh, will, uh, will impose you, the teachers and the professors, to, the, the, to, to, uh, to, 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 to stay in, the, in, the, in, your, in your school. And that is, uh, for me, it's uh, something uh, uh, very, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's impossible to accept. Then I prefer to be validated by uh, British universities and do whatever I want to. I, uh, we, we are doing different uh, subjects. Uh, we choose the professors and teachers we want to. And uh, this is a uh, freedom for me. Then I want, I like, you to be with me in this adventure just to to educate the students educate means ex duco it means to extract to bring out from the students their own uniqueness and the dream and not to you know inject you know notions useless uh, unnecessary knowledge in uh, within that. This is uh, this will make a different, you know, it's a different school, different university, and we have to be different. We have to become something that is uh, unique in the world, and we can do this only by understanding that we cannot. Uh, um, give to students any uh, technique or discipline or, or uh, methods or systems, but you, we have to let them come out with their own uniqueness. And this is uh, very well. From, from the very beginning, not just at, uh, to the, at um, um, the university, when they are in the, in the kindergarten, uh, in the elementary schools, they have to understand that they are already mature to come out to their own uniqueness. And we should uh, change, <laughs> change the entire world because, because you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, we, we think that, that the children are children and they are childish or uh, childlike, but they are not. They, they can, if you let them to be very close to their own uh, originality, to their own uh, source. They uh, will become, uh, you know, great adults and with uh, with uh, um, with their creative uh, um, um, attitudes towards uh, the external world. You know. Then, then if you you are just uh, you know few of you, if you just meet each other and understand, I will be with you anytime. We can uh, meet on on Zoom and uh, understand how we can change. You know the the the, the entire you know it's, it's uh, uh, education to bring a, a, a revolution, a, a educational revolution. This is, a, it's, you are young people, you see, you can do this. And it's, it's, a, it's a important that just few of you can understand that, that the world, the way it is, cannot, cannot go on.
and uh, if we understand that 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 we uh, are the the one who are projecting the world we are living in then then this is has to be transferred to the young students and that to let them come out with their with their own uh, originality with their own i call it the dream because yeah. the dream is not something that you can acquire it's something that you have to remember it's something that is already within you and you will see that all the billionaires in the world, they, when they were 17, 16, 18, they were dreamers. They were, they, most of them didn't go to the university just because that is the, the real age to create something. When you are not, uh, let's say, intoxicated. Okay, I don't want to, to <laughs> take all your time, but just to, to tell you, if you help me in uh, this uh, uh, shift, in this revolution, it's, uh, I will be very grateful to you. Elio, I, will, I would only like to add there that uh, it's not just 16, the age where you can create. I think when you're a dreamer, you're a dreamer all your life. And the only thing that you need to do is just let it out, even if it's uh, when you're 40. But that's uh, right. Just make sure that you do it. That's right. That's right. And you will see that this uh, will change also your uh, your uh, your life as a, as a, you know, your family and the, the people who, uh, who are very close to you. And this is not just for the others, but it is for ourselves. This is very, very important. We can do, we can do it right now. And then this is, uh, you know, if you tell the student, you, you can see the attention of all the students right now. They do not have, a, not even a, 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 a question. They just are saying, I can, comment it i can uh, uh, just be with you and uh, i am telling them what is already in themselves it is not new but if if they forget themselves it's they get uh, lost in uh, in uh, in the crowd and this is uh, the, the crime that i blame and accuse all schools and universities. The fact that, that, that they are teaching millions and millions and billions of people the same thing, how to become uh, homologated, uh, how to become the same uh, thing, and, you know, to, to give the same education to all of them. And it's, uh, no one, no one, is a uh, is uh, uh, revolting and rebelling to to something that is uh, so in uh, an homologation I call it in Italiano, and uh, it is a, it is a crime. It is really a crime. Then we have to to really respect the word education, which means ex ex duco, which is means to bring up. And not to 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 feel feel in. This is uh, interesting. Then let's talk about. It. Let's write to each other and uh, see what what uh, what will happen. I'll be a pleasure. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I see you soon. Yeah. Let's be in touch next month eventually. If you if you can. Uh, get um, 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 closer, you know, um, among, among yourself, among you. And uh, let's see if, if we come out with the, some idea, you know, how we can change this world. <laughs> right. Oh, the ladies. Um, <laughs> and Sophia. <laughs> yeah. um, Sophia. Sophia is working with us in admission now. So All right. 
member of BSC. Oh, uh, you work. You working with us? Yes, I just joined two days uh, ago. Okay. okay. Did you read something from I the have, school for God? I have read a couple of things. Yes, it's very interesting. Okay. Okay. Hi, Elio. I'm a former student. I did a um, short course in arts and cultural management. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. And um, we. Dancer. <laughs> I'm a dancer as well. Oh, great, great. Yeah. That's good. That's yeah. good. And there were, did you, did you, uh, did you get in touch with your own dream? Do you know what you are going to to do in life? Well, let's say I'm working on it. <laughs> You're working. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you, I think, don't, you don't know if you want to become a dancer or a manager. Well, I I already did some uh, professional dancing, and the thing with dancing is that I I had this idea on my mind that if I didn't do it um, professionally, then I'm no longer a dancer. But now I'm trying to understand and to realize that that even if I don't dance professionally, I'm I'm still a dancer, so okay. let's say I'm I'm working on it because I yeah. also want to to um, to manage art. So I mean, good. I'm good. working. <laughs> very good, very good, very nice. You know that we have a, we have a, an art gallery in Florence. Eh? Yeah, I know, I know. I, that, I'm planning to visit. Yeah. Yeah, please, Hopefully. please come. Uh, this is. Uh, and we are in touch with all the artists in the world, and this is very, very important for your career. I mean, you know. Right, right. It's great. Yeah, it's good to finally meeting you. <laughs> it was nice to have you. And thanks for sharing all your um, sharing and also inspiring us, all your yes. knowledge and all your. Yes, read, read, read the book and let, let me know. You know, yes. if, if there is some uh, question or some. Uh, some, uh, you know, um, let's say doubt about what uh, I'm saying. I wrote this book for uh, many years, and I can say that I put all my life in those books. And then, then uh, I am sure that it is not something that belongs to me, but it belongs to each of you. It is something that we find difficult to 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 get in touch because because. Uh, so many things outside ourselves are uh, attracting us and uh, um, makes us uh, for, forgetful, forgetful beings. And uh, this is uh, this is uh, the what what is happening to each of us. We have to return to something that belongs to us. And in the book, I uh, really wrote. Uh, you know something that belongs to to every every and each individual, which is to to understand that we are creators of our own reality and not created by the outer reality. And this is a you know a very simple realization, but it is the totality. You know, if you remember that you yourself are creator and dreamer and the doer of your own reality, reality itself will change. Just thinking about, you know, just thinking about. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, Elio. Okay. And please come to Italy. And, uh, I will, I will. <laughs> great. Uh, Clelia knows that, that uh, you will find a place to stay, beautiful place in Florence, and uh, that's it. Then, then don't worry. In, uh, thank you, thank you so much, Elio. Yeah. Elio, this is yoga, oh, yoga. from India. Yeah, from India? Yeah, I'm from India. Uh, yoga, it means uh, oneness. Yes, my full name is Yoga Rajan. Union. <laughs> Tell me yoga. Tell me. Yeah, uh, I I didn't I didn't get a chance to read your book, but uh, 
I read couple of uh, quotes and I listened to today. It was good. Like the philosophical views of yours is really good, and uh, I will try to apply in my life by making good decisions and practicing. Sorry, can can you say that I didn't get the last words? Uh, yeah, your philosophical views about life is really good. Yeah, good. Uh, I, I think uh, I'll try to apply it my, in my life by That's making good. good good decisions. Great, great, sure. great. And this is not difficult for you. You are you coming from India, and it's it's. Uh, I know that those things are not uh, taught in your schools and universities, but 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 your uh, your philosophy, uh, let's say your religion. Uh, contemplate uh, something like this, you know, that, that, uh, you know, the, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's uh, the, the, the difference between, uh, let's say my principles and the, uh, your philosophy is the fact that, that uh, I believe that, uh, that uh, uh, the gods are you yourself and, uh, and uh, you have all the, 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 uh, the, 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 the capacity to change the world outside yourself by being aware of what is going on within yourself. And this is something that belongs to your philosophy. Uh, and this is uh, you know, something that, that for you will be not difficult to apply them. Thank you for being with us. Which part of India are you? Uh, I'm from South India, Tamil Nadu. I'm, I live in Chennai. It is uh, uh, south in southern India, Tamil Nadu. Yeah, which is uh, the main uh, main city? Uh, Chennai. I live in Chennai. And how did you know the school? How did you meet the school? Mm, I was uh, actually I completed Bachelor of Computer Application in 2021, yeah. Yeah. and uh, I was uh, trying to shift. I I, I didn't have a, a more interest in computer science. So I was trying to shift into management. Good. So, so to, I was searching for short courses in online. So Good. I got, the, but I tried applying visa. I didn't get the visa. So yeah. I did it online. Very, so very good, very good. From a digital, uh, digital, you know, uh, matters to the the management, and then uh, from the management to the leadership, you have to become a leader. Yoga. Yes, I will. Yeah, okay. Let's have this target. Uh, let's be free. Let's be free and never to depend upon anybody and uh, okay. on, on, any, on anything. Okay, let's be yes. free. This is, uh, this is our target to hit. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Yoga. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Bye. Clelia, thank you yes. very much. It was a great meeting, really. I cannot see everybody, but probably they all run away, probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's still uh, some survivors oh, You're still there. All right. I thank you very much. That was nice. OK, then, then uh, um, uh, have a beautiful uh, holidays, okay? We will uh, stop for a few days. Then, uh, and, uh, okay, oh, ciao. This is, uh, okay, okay, how are you? Ciao. Eh? Give my regards to your mom, don't forget. I will, I will. That's great. Okay, then, then have beautiful holidays. Thank you. I have a question for you, Elio. Oh, I see. Sorry. Do you think that now with the big reset, um, especially the focalization of yourself towards the rest of the world, it's going to have a higher impact or higher success rate? Or, all right. You see, you see it's a, this is a question coming from many of you. It's, uh, the thing is that uh, the outer world is uh, just uh, an emanation, it's a, a projection of your inner one. 
people, uh, people uh, um, um, becoming uh, uh, victims of a war. And this is uh, probably not so uh, you can consider it uh, to not be uh, uh, compassionate towards the world, but uh, I this is my my uh, my discovery, my realization, the fact that uh, the other world is uh, just uh, uh, the projection the projection of an inner world. If you are uh, if you do not have any conflicts within yourself, you can never meet a war outside yourself. Then whatever you know, the media are telling you, it's, uh, it's uh, not uh, something that uh, belongs to you. It is something that, that uh, from my point of view, and this is, can be uh, discussed and uh, you, can be, uh, you can disagree with me. Uh, I don't think there is any war. There is no war in the world. Just because there is no war within myself. And it is when you tell me that there is a war in some part of the, the, the globe or the earth, I can tell you that, that, that from my point of view, there is no war at all. But I'm not talking about the war. I'm asking uh, through the big reset, uh, through the series of events that we have been experiencing since 2018, 2019, as a part of the change of the world, of our reality to renewable energy in order for us to maintain our planet. Oh, that's right. That's, that's, that, that is something that will happen just because something happened within man. And this is very, very important. No technology, no reset can happen if, if it doesn't happen first within man. Then, then it is there where we have to concentrate all our uh, attention. It's, it's very, very important that the, the, the very change has to happen within man. And then you will see that, that technology, science will follow. Then we have to, you know, to 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 point out the inner uh, world and the, the the inner states of men, and you will change the the, the entire world. And the new technology, new science will will come in the next uh, uh, future. And uh, if you see, if you read my book, I spoke about the physical immortality. And uh, you will see that um, many billionaires are uh, um, supporting and financing uh, uh, physical immortality. But uh, in a physical immortality, like uh, all uh, the, 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 the great uh, uh, inventions uh, that happened in the past, as to go through the, the something that has to happen within man which I call deathlessness, absence of death within. We die thousands of times during a day and we are unaware of it. If we are aware of this uh, um, inner death, inner deaths within ourselves, you will see that we will uh, conquer death in the outer world and uh, science and technologies will come out with something that uh, right now is uh, just imagination. Thank you. Your name is uh, it's not easy for me to uh, re remind me your name. It's similar to yours. It's Eladio. It is Eladio. to relate right. with uh, the god Helios. Uh, that's right. You, you got the light and, and the sun with it. Hilario. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank, thank you for your question, Hilario. And remember that that in uh, in uh, achievement, um, outer achievement can uh, be uh, uh, conquered only first within man, and this is uh, where we have to focus on. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great evening.
Thank you, Elio. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you. To, thank you for your attention. It was really nice. Yeah. And, uh, I hope, you know, I hope to see you in Italy, eh, Johnny? Yes. Yeah. Yes. In a Clear. few days. Okay. That's great. That's great. And they invite everybody to come to Italy, eh? On the <laughs> London. <laughs> okay. Need a yes. Thank you. Uh, Clelia, Clelia is telling me something about the professor. No. Yeah, but he's in my, he's been invited for a couple of years now. All right. Great, so, great. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> David. I started as a faculty member this year, but we've been friends also with John for a few years. Yes, more or less. So we beautiful other for some time. So. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. I'll be waiting for you. I will be there. Okay, <laughs> Thank you. Thanks very much. All of you. See you soon. Bye. Beautiful class. Beautiful classroom. Really nice. I enjoyed very much. Thank you.